Alright, now I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I thought I would might as well bring it up anyway, because I just thought it was a... It's a really funny topic to kind of go over, and that's the rumor actually going around right now, that Ricky Rubio could actually look back to joining the Cleveland Cavaliers in free agency. I believe this was actually originally brought up by a guy named Keith Smith, who actually tweeted out saying, I bet Ricky Rubio re-signs with the Cavs this summer because his contract is expiring. He'll be eligible to go back to Cleveland despite just being traded. Now, I find that to be really, really funny because like, dude, it's the plan, man. Like, nah, I really don't know what's going on. Like, they gave, they of course gave Ricky Rubio's number to Karis LeVert. Karis LeVert will now wear the number three for them. Um, I just don't see how, like, cap space-wise, the Cavaliers would fit it in. Now, I believe they, of course, will have, I think, a mid-level exception or something to use this off-season. I'm sure of it. Probably, like, six million or something. Um, while they still have Colin Sexton, who will be a contract worth anywhere between like 18 and 26 million, they could always trade and, um, try and go for a star or something like that. And then there's Kevin Love's 30 million expiring contract, which I think they'll, they'll hold on to. Then Kevin Love's so important to this team now where it's just like, can you trade Kevin Love? Is there a point of trading Kevin Love? Like he still might not be worth 30 million dollars, but goddamn. This dude is playing like a near all-star, so like, <laughs> keep Kevin Love on the team, I would assume. But then, hey, that mid-level exception, that's really interesting to me. Let's just say they have like a mid-level exception of six to seven million dollars. And Ricky Rubio is like, well, joke's on you. You traded me to Indiana, but I actually never left Cleveland. I'm still chilling here right now. Um, you, you never really had to go to Indiana, I believe. He's on, he, did his ACL, so like... I don't know what's the kind of go with that, but he's probably just sitting there like, well, I will we'll come back to you um, again and we'll do a deal maybe on like 7 million a season. Like, because I think Ricky Rubio loved it in Cleveland so much. He knows that they are going to be one of the best teams in the league. Even though they are already one of the best teams in the league. Let's just put it precisely like that. I think he'll potentially take a pay cut to want to go there because look, the Pacers might offer him like 14 million a season, but like, dude, if you're getting paid $7 million, he clearly has enough money. Like this guy's been banking like 17 million for the last three plus seasons. I think at this point, if he loves it in Cleveland that much and his kid is starting school or whatever very soon, why wouldn't Ricky Rubio want to return? The only issue is, if a team like the Boston Celtics, who are reportedly going to be letting Richardson walk in free agency, which is $10 million saving up, they're, I think, still looking to trade Marcus Smart. I don't know if they will have traded him by the time of this video coming out, but that's $16 million gone. Al Horford declined his team option. That's a $27 million contract gone. A bunch of other stuff. They're probably going to have around $50 to $60 million to spend in free agency, and they desperately need a new starting point guard. If you're Ricky Rubio and you get offered, though, a $15 million per year type deal to go and start at point guard and play make for Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, you're probably going to do that because, again, if he was to return to Cleveland, it'd probably be 20 minutes per game off the bench as the backup point guard. You know, he wouldn't be shining light or anything like that. He'd just be, again, a great role player, great for great chemistry, this and that for the team. Um, so I don't know how that's, of course, going to work. But again, if the Boston Celtics come calling, I expect him to maybe go to a team like that, especially considering they're looking to restructure their whole team and bounce back very soon, which I think they are very capable of doing. But I just thought I'd make this video because I thought it was a really funny thing to, like, kind of think that, like, Ricky Rubio is jo potentially joining the Cleveland Cavaliers back in free agency. Like, how funny... Would that be if that actually happened? I think that would be a really, really cool experiment. Um, and again, especially if the Cavaliers trade away like Colin Sexton and manage to get like a Bradley Beal or something like that, they may very well need a backup point guard. And again, Ricky Rubio, damn, if he if he wants it, he can come and play for the Cavaliers. Like I think that would be really awesome to see, you know, a comeback to the Cleveland Cavaliers for Ricky Rubio. Only thing is, he wouldn't have his number back. Um, unless Karis LeVert decided to change it, which I doubt he will. So who knows, maybe if the Cavs don't bring back Rondo or someone like that, Ricky Rubio can, uh, 
can come in and wear the uh, number one. I think that'd be kind of cool. But hey, I think a lot of Cavs fans really want to see Ricky Rubio back. It just really depends what he's kind of thinking and what, I guess, a team like the Boston Celtics offer. One thing I know for sure is I don't think this guy will ever wear an Indiana Pacers jersey unless they offer him ridiculous money in free agency that he just can't refuse. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all those NBA news and NBA content. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash following channel. Check out my podcast as well if you haven't already, which I will all be linking in the description down below for you guys to all go and check out. You know, as I was saying, um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.